Check us out on the internet at 3boutdoors.com, plus YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. South Holston Lake, Kevin Powers and I are chasing them as fast as we can chase them. It's Junk Fishing 101. If it's in the boat, it has the potential to be thrown out. We're going to catch them, catch a few good ones, tag along. I'm Nathan Light. Welcome to 3B Outdoors. He is a good one, 3B Outdoors, boys. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Big bass, bird, yeah! 12 pound even, <laughs> biggest fish I ever caught right there. Big, wide, deep. Boom, that just happened. You won't catch anything like this out on the water. Thanks to the good Lord that he gave me a day that I could come out and do this. I mean, I'm just so blessed. 3B Outdoors is brought to you by Visit Kingsport, Tennessee. There's one eating shad right here on the ramp. <laughs> There's been enough turned loose right here, they ought to be. Looks nice this morning. We just knew where to go. Ain't nobody in that parking lot either. Huh? <laughs> There's nobody in that parking lot either. Wonder why. Thirty seconds trying to cross the lake. I hadn't been up here, and I figured come up here and give it a shot. One toggle you said was so full you couldn't hardly get too much. And... Yeah, it's a, it's over the fishing pier. I mean, it's up up on the walkway on the fishing pier now. There's one. Oh, big brown one. Big brown one. Big old black brown. Oh, gosh, that's a good one there. Oh. It's been up dinner. Oh, I thought it was your plug. No. I thought it got off. There's shad coming everywhere. Golly. Look at his gut. He's flinging them everywhere then. Wow, look at that one. Where's you at the other day, buddy, when I needed you? It's a good start right there now. Oh. Beautiful fish. I think he, here's what he's eating, guys. Look. He slung about five or six of them up there. <laughs> I thought he'd throw your plug. No. Good one right there. South Holston Special. South Holston Special. May the 20, what is that, 25th, 6th, 26th? Something like that. Thank you, Mr. Fish. That cool. boy. Cool. That boy, Kev. It's one. One. Then we'll count it all day long, won't they? I think that you one now. Shoot, I can't throw it close mm -hmm. enough. You can't get it from here to there, you need to quit. <laughs> Score tracker. Still one to nothing. Kevin had another and blow up on a pump bar. Got to get closer to the metal, though. Yeah. It'll happen. Day's young. Weather looks nice. Good cloudy day so far. Cloudy. A little cold front coming in, though. It can be cold enough for a bike tight one. Absolutely. <laughs> it's never too. Oh. We'll throw a spinner bait a little bit. Throw your pop bar or throw your. This portion of 3B Outdoors is brought to you by these fine companies.
Luminox are brighter, more durable, and with replaceable batteries, the longest lasting compound and crossbow lighted knocks on the market, period. When your moment of truth comes, rely on the only lighted knock trusted by the best. Luminock. Light them up at Luminock.com. Have you been charged with a crime? Do you know your constitutional rights? For a free criminal defense consultation, call 423-291-8021. Serving Tennessee and Virginia with offices in Kingsport and Rogersville. Jim Williams & Associates, Attorneys at Law. Dixie Custom Rods is 100% focused on building rods for every technique, all the way from finesse fishing up to power fishing. My buddy and owner, Dwayne Wilson, builds superior custom rods with unmatched care, quality, and craftsmanship. His new Carbon Elite Series rods are incredibly light, super sensitive, and strong. The Tightline Special, designed to my specifications, is versatile and perfect for multiple applications. It also continues to be a bestseller. Load up your front deck at DixieCustomRodsAndTackle.com. Oh, it's a good one, too. Look at that one. Look at her. Oh, oh, I touched you. Come here. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah, buddy. Look at that, everybody. Beautiful fish. She hasn't spawned out yet. Look. No. Look at her tail out there. A little blood on it. Wild, isn't it? That's a chunk. Beautiful fish. Cool. Thank you, Mr. Fish. Oh. Watch her. Here you go. That old boy. Tater, baby. Good cool. job, Kev. Cool. Well, there is some more fish in this lake rather than just one. They live here, don't they? What? Think on a cast over there? Well, it's attractive. That's where they're at? That's it's what's attractive. <laughs> I mean, you know, I need something to attract them. KP's out to a good start. Maybe you want to sneak up on me. <laughs> well, they live right there. It's, about, it's like a hotel sign, ain't it? I wouldn't waste my time throwing them something like that. Unless you talk 10 right in front of me on it. <laughs> All right, Mike, come on. Sit down here, focus a little bit. Let's go. Hey, ready to hear. There you go. <clears throat> People probably get tired of seeing us eat all the time on these shows. Fish. Oh. We got what? I don't know. It feels heavy. <laughs> got a little head shake to it. You even tried to come up? Not yet. Uh oh. <laughs> it could be a kitty cat. It could be a kitty 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 kitty. That ain't no worm, that ain't no spinner bait. No, I'm not gonna tell you what it is. You ready to get us, get it, let me get us off the bank a little bit. Well, you quit playing around and get that fish in here. <laughs> we got to. <laughs> okay. He wasn't going no worse. Oh, that's a pretty brown one. Look yeah. how black he is. Healthy. I kind of liked it. So how long did it take you to catch that one? Just a little while. <laughs> Three hours. You got to get one before you get two. <laughs> okay, that's true. How many you got? Two. Okay, so I'm just I'm, one down. Okay, I'm one ahead of you. 
There we go. Tater. Let's do it again. Make it here. Make it here. Oh, what's, what's that? that? Does that look familiar? <laughs> There's one. Oh. Good yeah, one. Yeah, boy. What you got him on? Four pound line. <laughs> <laughs> Another head shaker. Look at him. About the same size as yours, I believe. Stay if he gets baby. off, he will be. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That is a good one. You better lay down there and get him. Don't let him get off. That's a nice one there. Oh, dude. Come here, baby. Come here. Come here. Don't shake off right here. Oh, oh get him. <laughs> Atta boy. Like that. What's your keys up there? You about lost them in the mic growth. Oh, did I? Oh, oh. Lordy. Beautiful fish. Pretty fish. That a boy, Kev. All right. Oh, pretty, pretty, pretty fish. Thank you, Mr. Fish. Oh, Boom. yeah. Boom. That could have been disastrous. <laughs> that could have been real bad. Yeah, lost your keys. And lost them. That a boy. That's pretty. It's Keep. almost big as the one I caught. Yeah, keep believing that. <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice one, Kev. Good job. <laughs> You can flip him, can you? Yeah. You would have thought he's a lot bigger than that. That's what happens when you catch a lot of fish the last couple trips. Fish. It's all right. It's all right. Fish. That's what we want. A bass is a bass is a bass. Hard to beat them fresh strawberries, is it, Kev? That one's kind of sour. <laughs> well, you got the wrong one. Oh, God. <laughs> After eating that donut, it's kind of. <laughs> oh, no, what? The rest of them was good. Oh, wow. Well. Donut and strawberries don't Ooh, go together. I don't go together. <laughs> that was sour. <laughs> Midday report is uh, they're not jumping the boat, guys. Uh, I think we caught, what, five fish all day so far this morning? Mm hmm. Beautiful day. Wind's blowing up there on the main channel pretty good. They should be eating spinner bait or swim jig. What's the water temperature? It's 72 or something. Water like. temperature is 75.9 is what it says up there right now. Uh, no shad spawn this morning. That's probably what didn't help us any at all. They probably moved off the bank this morning pretty quick. But we're not quitting. We're going to go up the lake here, probably above the cut through and up towards Ob Knob up in that area up in there and see what happens. So y'all stick with us. 3B Outdoors. This portion of 3B Outdoors is brought to you by these fine companies. Goodman Jewelers of Chilhowee, Virginia was founded in 1959 on principles of trust, honesty, superior quality, and family values. Mike Goodman is a master jeweler with over 45 years of experience in jewelry design, repair, restoration, and manufacturing. Our professional staff delights in helping you to find unique treasures, engagement rings, and wedding bands to make your special gift dreams come true, including state-of-the-art laser engraving. Visit our showroom for amazing prices and selection. Great customer service is always our pleasure to give. For a while now, you've been hearing about the secrets of using Avid Angler's Fish in the Glue. Don't just take it from me, Listen to these guys. Not only is this glue super strong, it's very long lasting. I've had the same bottle in my boat all through the summer months without drying out. Dude, this glue is amazing. It helps me catch more fish. I've been fishing tournaments for over 30 years, used almost every glue on the market. This is 100% the only fishing glue you need. To get your bottle of Avid Angler's Fishing Glue, go buy your Bass Pro Shop or online. Whether you're spending the day running around at 70 miles an hour in a high-powered bass boat, fishing a competitive stress field tournament, or just enjoying a day on the lake, you can never have enough, Dr. Enough. Facing a divorce or child custody matter? Are you familiar with divorce, custody, and support laws? For a free family law consultation, call 423-291-8120. Serving Tennessee and Virginia with offices in Kingsport and Rogersville, Jim Williams and Associates, Attorneys at Law. Nobody wants to run out of power when they're on the water. 
There is a better way. Introducing the Charge Marine Power Management Station from PowerPole that does the work of three devices, a traditional battery charger, a charge on the run, and an emergency start system. PowerPole Charge. Son, look at that. You got everything in there. You doing any good? No, we think we caught five all day, off slow. And you got the equipment on that thing, I can tell you that. Pretty nice cup, guys. How do you get one? You gotta get lucky, a lot of luck. Three time. Three time, we got that in Arkansas, Lake Hamilton. Three time BFL. All American. <laughs> that just don't happen, boys. It just happened. You think some of them largemouth have spawned? They get in these cracks and crevices like this right here and be mm -hmm. wanting want to play. All right, Mr. Fish. Come on. Ooh. I mean, strawberries doing some wonders. Easy, 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 easy. Easy, I can get Oh, put him in the boat, Bobby. Nice fish. Yeah, boy. What's that? Oh, oh. Yeah, boy. Smack him. Oh. <laughs> well, they're mean this time of year, ain't they? Yeah, they are. We're all right. All right. Let me go ahead on him. He spawned out, looks like, ain't it? Yep. Nice little Old female. Spawn. Pretty fish. Good boy. Nothing pretty, wrong with that, Mr. Pretty, White. Pretty fish. I like that pretty good. That helped the cows right there. Oh, they way by to you. <laughs> Little jumper. Oh, he's still right there. Oh, there he goes, okay. Buddy. Tater. <laughs> Come to the front just a little bit. There's one. Are you in? How black you are. Beautiful fish. He's a good keeper, oh. Fat, fatten him back up. Oh, look at, look at that hook in his mouth. You see it? Somebody done been there, hasn't Somebody done been, he probably broke somebody's heart last week. Thank you, Mr. Fish. It's a keeper. Not a boy. It's all right. You're well, the man. We're trying to work on him. Yeah. He's coming along nicely. I know what she's thinking. What? I know what she's thinking. I think I'm gonna catch one. What do you think I'm thinking? He's gonna tap my line. Oh, I wouldn't do it to you. Oh, no, yeah, you would. I wouldn't do it to you. Oh, yeah, you would. You know what I mean? I ain't like you. You ever fish that hump right over yonder? It runs out, everybody where that boat is over right now. I see a lot of people fishing it, but it runs uh, up there at a long point. No. Not that I recall. I might have fished it at night years ago or something. You must have fished a lot at night time, didn't you? A lot. Yep. Yeah. Oh, man. There he is. Oh, is he? Big one. He hit like a big one. It's going straight down, whatever it is. <laughs> Tie it off with me. <laughs> You're kidding. It's underneath a tree or something down there. <laughs> He's still on there. He just came off. God. He broke my lines when he did. Did you really? <laughs> Holy cow. That's a tugger, wasn't it? God, I don't know what it was. <laughs> what the heck came oh, out here? Yeah. Teamwork. Team. 
I'm gonna slide. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Woo! We had to go in and get that. Oh boy, Kev. <laughs> He's still hung out. I'm still hung out. I got the fish. Yeah, bigger showing that, off the fish. That's all it counts right there. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, boy. Oh god, somebody. What? Did oh, you get bit? Yeah, he's like to jerk the rod out of my hand. Fell off that thing. I was yeah. waiting for it to hit the bottom it went on. Oh, did it really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I drug it over that stump. I was waiting for it to hit the bottom, and man, it just went thunk. <laughs> Did you do that last time? Yes. <laughs> you low life. You, you low life. You got me. You got me. I give you one. <laughs> you got me. Are you drink like that? Yeah. I oh, pour it up like that. Dunk. Get in the boat, Bubba. There you go. Yes, baby. It's not over with yet. Looking better every second. In the bushes. In the bushes. The first right around fish a little bit more. Good green one. Good green one. This portion of 3B Outdoors is brought to you by these fine companies. No matter your passion, whether you love shooting or hunting, we got you covered. Chris Dederick. Hey, buddy, what's going on? Hey, buddy, look, I need to borrow your four wheeler. Me and uh, Dustin got some things we want to try. All right, I'll bring it to you. Thanks, bud. All right, bye. That'd be funny if I said I'd buy Freddie another one. Let's well, check these weeds out. Here we go. All the way. Hold on, dude. Chris Dedrick, Mill Creek Construction, proud sponsor, big fan of 3B Outdoors. Dixie Custom Rods is 100% focused on building rods for every technique, all the way from finesse fishing up to power fishing. My buddy and owner, Dwayne Wilson, builds superior custom rods with unmatched care, quality, and craftsmanship. His new Carbon Elite Series rods are incredibly light, super sensitive, and strong. The Tightline Special, designed to my specifications, is versatile and perfect for multiple applications. It also continues to be a bestseller. Load up your front deck at DixieCustomRodsAndTackle.com. I'm going to talk to you just a second about one of our awesome sponsors, Avid Angler Solutions. He makes these chartreuse dye markers and also the, the glue. And man, today, as you can see, we've used it to dye the tips on our trailers on spinner baits, jigs, swim jigs or whatever and we've also used the glue to hold them up on the head so you get uh, the, the baits stay on and man that chartreuse dye marker does an awesome job so uh, look them up online avidanglersolutions.com awesome products they also have some tool kits for kayaks and bass boats great people great sponsors He just got one. You must be good luck. Appreciate that. Thank you. We don't call nothing, man. They all count. Wait a minute. We got double. We got double. Maybe. Is it good? Oh, yeah. Bring him. Oh. Bring him. <laughs> 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 yeah. 
What'd you say? We killed nothing? We killed nothing on 3B. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. It's bigger. I believe mine is. No, I believe mine is. <laughs> mine was. Mine was bigger. Mine was definitely bigger. Boom. Gonna give two taters. <laughs> two taters. What do you call two taters? Another spot. Wow, that's two spots today. Golly! You ain't got him. Oh my gosh, light. What can I do? I mean, he tugged it. Like... That's a thug, too. That was a tugger. You get him on. There you go. You, got, you love life. Good job. Spot. That's him. <laughs> what happened there, Mr. Light? Well, you got him all fired up. I fed him. I let him eat twice and <laughs> missed him once and never jerked on him the first time got in a feeling contest with him. And then Uncle Kev I put the hurt on him. Uh, I ain't going to shake him off. I don't care. <laughs> I knew he was a little spot. Yeah. I, could, I could tell the way he's biting it. I didn't really need him. Okay, now if y'all believe that now, okay. <laughs> Put a rock on it. Got it, Byron. There's your close-up of our pocket rocket. Spin that thing around your line, drop it down, shake it. Gets them almost every time. Almost. As always, Kevin Powers seems to put together a bite or two, and I got my share in the boat today. Fun day. Junk Fishing 101, South Holston, doesn't get much better than that. Had a great time, hope you enjoyed it. I'm Nathan White. Thanks for watching 3B Outdoors. God bless, and best fishing. Really? Hey, Dustin. We wake up in the morning before the rising sun. Load up boats, rods and reels, bows and our guns. We're team 3B. Wanna have ourselves some fun. Some bugs, bass and beers. Check us out on the internet at 3boutdoors.com, plus YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.